Hi, check out what Dumpster Santa has delivered. Yes, in the uh, famous uh, dumpster room, right in time for Christmas, we have a, mi a Cooler Master Mini ITX case. This is actually the Elite 130 and is still a current model uh, case. You can uh, still buy this thing. And it's a little bit of a beast for a Mini ITX uh, case. It supports a, a full high-end uh, graphics card. It's got a 500 watt uh, power supply and it was a bit how you doing uh, on the floor of the uh, dumpster room. Here's a photo of it. And yeah, the power supply was hanging out. The cables were hanging out. Uh, somebody's been in there, by the way. I do actually have... I believe I have competition for uh, PCs in the dumpster room because I have noted that I've seen uh, some ones on the floor and I go, ah, oh, yeah, I might get them later or I might not. Um, and then I come back later and they've been ratted. Um, so, you know, people have like nicked the memory out of them and, you know, like they're just all apart on the floor. So, yeah, somebody else is, uh, at least one other person is having a go in the uh, dumpster here. But anyway... Um, yeah, it's a Intel uh, Core i5, and it's got the uh, USB 3s on the front, which is uh, very nice. There's another USB over here. It's got a Samsung uh, DVD writer. They did actually uh, keep the screw, even though it was all hanging out. They did actually uh, found the screws in the bottom of it. So thank you uh, for whoever dumped that. They actually kept the uh, screws in there, or whoever ratted this one. Um, I'm not sure if it was the owner who dumped it or uh, somebody who ratted it. Anyway, I found the uh, power supply just flapping around in the breeze. It's a 500 watt jobby. I don't know the brand. Leave it in the comments down below. Uh, EVEA? EVEA or something? Um, yeah, something like that. Anyway, 500 watt power supply. It's pretty beefy. And a mini ITX board in there. We'll have a look at the mi uh, in a minute. But uh, yeah, oh, it's... Yeah, she's a bit dusty. Gonna have to give it a blowjob first. Hang on. I think I'll take it to the stairwell to give it a blowjob. Don't want to do this in the lab. It just goes everywhere. It's messy. There we go. That's a bit cleaner. It is still a bit uh, dusty. It doesn't actually get the, the real tough layer of dust off. So you want to go in there with a little wet rag and wipe it over. But anyway, um, let's take a look at the motherboard, shall we? Mini ITX designed in Taipei. None of that uh, Chinese rubbish. Fantastic. Erp ready. I don't know what an erp ready is. Uh, Rev 1.0 USB 3. I can't really find any identifier on the actual board, but uh, do actually have a look down in there. It says socket 1150 down there. So bingo, that uh, dates this thing to uh, 2013, I believe it is. So socket 1150, we're talking like the best processor we can put in this thing as like an i7-4790. Uh, and that'll give us like an 8,000 pass mark. So yeah, this thing is not, you know, it's, it's not going to set the world on fire, but you could, of course, whack a decent video card in this. And, like, as I said, like a full-size video card, full-length and uh, uh, double-width, uh, of course, video card, because you've got the uh, double-width over there. And, of course, the fans will be right on the side, you know, if you've got your fans on your video card, right on the side where, of course, they've got all the cooling on the side of the case. Absolutely brilliant. So that's going to cool your video card quite well. So... You could kind of beef this thing up. It's got a, uh, is that a stock Intel uh, cooler? It's a de uh, Delta. Everyone wants to see the goodness on the back. Um, this is actually a dual HDMI output. It says that on the motherboard. We've got the dual Ethernets. We've got uh, four USB 3s. Absolutely fantastic. I basically don't touch a dumpster room PC unless it's got like USB 3 in it. Um, it's got the audios. It's got the opticals. Uh, a DVI that'll have uh, like the dual monitor uh, DVI out support. A couple of more uh, US. Oh, is that the is that the model number? G4410, that could be the mod model number motherboard. So it looks like uh, that is a Gigabyte GAH97N, and here's the uh, blurb on that one, and it supports Intel 4th uh, and 5th gen uh, processors, and it's got, you know, uh, like solid caps on it, none of that electrolyte uh, rubbish, and uh, it looks like, a, you know, a, well, for its time, a fairly uh, beefy little ITX motherboard and this is the uh wi-fi version so we've got the dual wi-fi -E, dual diversity antenna here old school ps2 keyboard and mouse for you fanboys out there um so yeah this is a 
it's quite a reasonable score. Let's uh, see. I assume it's still got the processor in it. So let's, uh, it, of course, somebody stripped the uh, memory out of it. It's got dual sockets, but I got memory. Let's whack it in and uh, see if we can power this thing up. Because um, although I do prefer the uh, slim uh, form factor, the small form factor uh, PCs, because like they fit under benches and stuff like that uh, nicely, um, I'll definitely take this. And I've got spare decent video cards to put in it too. And the other thing is, it actually got six uh, six gig SATA. Oh, I think they're all six gig uh, SATA connectors. So yeah, you could really put in a uh, decent stack of like uh, solid state drives in there. So yeah, not too shabby. And it thoughtfully came with uh, four SATA cables as well. So maybe it had uh, four drives in it before it was gutted, or maybe a couple of spare. Who knows? Well, this sucker doesn't want to go in without a fight. So I think the Shazzy might be a bit bent or something. Uh, I'll get it. More force required. I just realized, is there um, some sort of uh, drive cage missing from this thing? Um, internal drive cage? Possibly. Hang on, check it out. Someone's had a bodge here. Look at the electrical tape. Um, this is for this uh, little pissant fan on the side here. I don't know why you'd really need that. It's got a big 120 millimeter jobby on the front of the case. Um, so yeah, what what the? Why why do they need electrical tape? They've, I don't know. What the actual freak? This is, this is tighter than the nun's nasty. It's just not going in there. It is not going in. I swear, I've taken out that side fan and it just, ah, uh, it's just, Ridiculous. I don't know what the deal is. Let's see if we can just get this bracket in on its own. And uh, nope. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like, it doesn't fit. Hang on. Some people are probably screaming at me. Is this damn thing meant to go on the outside? I think it might. Be. That's the only. Ah. Oh. Like. <laughs> because the reason I was fooled is because like all the power supply cables were already like attached to stuff so I assumed that it just went in from the back but it looks like somebody's ripped it out and then went and plugged the power supply in from the outside I that's that's got to be it that's got to be it surely and of course based on the uh, screw thread being on the outside that is obvious that's how it actually <laughs> went in. So somebody's taken this damn thing out and I've come a gutter because they've plugged it back in. Maybe they were uh, just trying it out or something like that. So yeah, that's that's got to be it. So yeah, that's obvious when you <laughs> think about it. But like I've never seen it. Like, you know, you'd, like normally they sit flush. So um, yeah, I've never seen one that actually protrudes out like that before. But Anyway, it's got to be. So, this power supply will now slide nicely into here like, well, maybe, like, yep, like that. There you go. No worries. It's time to ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Front panel button, where is it? Hey, fan spin. We have fan spin. Uh, super quiet fan spin, which is good, but, uh, nothing on the screen. Have I plugged the monitor in right? Is it turned on? Oh, I'll get back to you. Well, you can't trust these damn dumpster monitors. Um, I think that Samsung jobby might have died or something. Anyway, um, <laughs> gigabyte, there it is. Of course it works. UEFI dual bias warning, no bootable device is detected, no wackers. Uh, we're in like Flynn. There you go. Don't think I've seen this bias before. MIT system. Uh, yeah, it's a H97N Wi-Fi. Yep, uh, bias version. Always update the uh, biases when you find your dumpster uh, PCs. Where's the uh, processor? Anyway, copyright 2014. AMI. For you AMI bias fanboys. Don't found it. MIT current status. There you go. It's a Core i5 4590. Oh, that's not too shabby for the dumpster Santa. 
Well, I had a look. Apart from the uh, i5 4690, that's basic, which isn't that much faster. It's only a couple of hundred more uh, pass mark, really. Uh, you know, if you take pass markers, I always take pass markers, just like a basic reference uh, for these sort of things. But anyway, um, yeah, that's about the best i5 you can uh, put inside this thing. But as I said, uh, because it's a socket 1150, the best one I believe, please leave it in the comments down below if I'm wrong, is the best one you can put in there is an i7 4790. So. I'm not sure how much uh, they cost, but you could certainly uh, upgrade the thing, and it's I, it's not too shabby at all. I, I you know I rather like this. It's actually quite decent, like you know dual Ethernet, dual monitor outputs. It's got Wi-Fi built in. I believe it's got uh, I think does it have Bluetooth uh, as well? And um, yeah, clean it up. Of course, you might get in there because it's uh, maybe six. Six, you know, when's the date on the uh, 4590? That would be uh, Q2 2014, so it could date from 2014 or 2015 or uh, something like that. So, you know, it's, it's only like five years old. It's not too shabby. And I can, I've got uh, quite a few uh, decent performance video cards I can whack inside this thing. So, and it seems to be very quiet. I mean, I can hardly hear that at all. And Yep, all three uh, fans are working, include that little pissant one on the side. And of course, you take out the tiny little uh, pissant fan on the side, because the 120 millimeter jobby at the front is more than enough to uh, suck the air in and then push it out the uh, side vents either side. So, and of course, the uh, power supply. That'll, yeah, it's got, uh, yeah, the case has uh, vents on top for the uh, power supply. So, thermally, um, it's quite decent. So, yeah, you might get in there and uh, replace the uh, thermal paste on the processor. So, you know, five years, it'll, still be okay but you know if you were looking to refurbish this thing you'd uh, probably go in there and replace the paste but uh yeah that is a fairly decent dumpster find from dumpster santa so please leave your thoughts in the comments down below and as always hope you enjoyed the dumpster diving everyone says oh more dumpster diving videos well i'm at the mercy of what people in my building throw out so um yeah but dumpster santa delivered this one's not too shabby. Definitely not throwing that one back. Just got to find a use for it now. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Comments down below. Let me know. Um, it's not as good. It's not as powerful. Even if I put a... Oh, maybe if I put a 4590, it would be as powerful, more powerful slightly, maybe, than my small form factor lab live uh, Tagano microscope uh, capture PC, but it's the wrong form factor. Oh, no. Actually, it's not. Actually, no. I've got the, you know... Because if we go over here, here we go. Let's have a look. Let's go over here. Sorry, I don't have any. Uh, uh. But anyway, yeah, I've got my small form factor PC. I like it there. Um, but, you know, like these shelves are adjustable and the bottom shelf, it easily fit on the bottom shelf down there. So I could use it as another PC there for something. I don't know. Let me know. Hmm. Anyway, if you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. You know what to do. Catch you next time. Hello.